guys, and here's another tutorial, and today I will be building a treehouse. Okay, so, it will, this type of treehouse will only work with one of these trees. The big trees like this. So, for this tutorial, you will need oak wood, oak planks, oak, some ladders. You used to climb vertically. Um, you will need some... Well, really, that's all for now. This is the main thing. Oh, yeah, you also need cobblestone. Okay. So, first off, we're going to start by making the tree trunk thicker. So, it won't just look like a scrawny tree holding up a huge house. Like, honestly, how is that even possible? Okay, and just in case you break something that you don't want to, get out oak leaves. So, oh, that was good. Place oak wood all the way down. But then, I go from behind it, the exact same thing. And just, just, this is kind of random, but I just want to tell you that you can enchant your elephant, which I, I, at first, but you can't just like put it into your enchantment table and just get an old enchantment. You have to actually enchant the book in these names there. Okay. 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 Once you have that, you will need to figure out a place to put it to, well, to put your ladders up. Cause that already looks like a more sturdy tree. So I'm just gonna put mine up from here. So once you have that, go all the way up, up to the top of your um, okay. and then. Really, just take. And then what you need to do is you'll need to, to take it all out to the very top of your tree. So then mine make it all level on the top. Like that. And this will be like because you can use this kind of as a lookout tower. And all my best houses are tree houses, so I have a. I think I have a lot of experience with tree houses. Okay. Well then you're gonna need to start off by where you want to where you want your first room. I'm just gonna place it right here. And then place over a few. I'm just gonna place over three. One, one, two, three. Place over four. Oh, two, three, four. One, two. I'll go ahead and go over four, three, four. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go over three. And then I always like, I always try to leave so like this. I will leave there. I will leave the. So yeah, if you have any natural wood that that you don't have to break, I would leave it. So then what you need to do is then like that. You want because you don't want the blocks to be actually touching, but you want them to be. Kind of touching by the corners of the block will be touching. Oh yeah, you also need oak slabs. Can't forget about this for the roof, so you can have double stacked chests, and that will work. that will be kind of like what we're gonna do right here. So then you're gonna dig up three once you have all of your walls put in. You're gonna need to put it all the way to where the entrance will be. So it should so you should be able to jump. And then from here you just going to put one like that. So then I'm gonna place more like that. More wood. Okay, we're gonna get out a torch. So say you can have it bright. And then you can like that. And then I'll show you how I'll show you how I would actually um how I would decorate it. So um, not decorating yet. So this is the first room. So so this will be so for for this tutorial this will be my bedroom. I always have the very first 
room on the right the bed, as the bedroom. So then you use then you take all that and then then we're gonna buy it out this will be the kitchen. So and then go so go ahead and mine the top. So it will be a full block. And then we can still do every and then we're gonna go back down whenever I decorate it and then fix all the leaves around it. So for now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do that. There we go. And then quickly. Okay. So this will be, but as you can see, it has to be like that. And then this room's gonna be, like I said, our kitchen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just this room it will be just oak logs. But all the walls will be just oak logs. And when you build up oak logs Three, two, oh, yeah, three. Um, we'll just do, yeah, let's go ahead and do three. So you can still jump, but I'm gonna make it so you won't jump onto all of your cooking materials. It's gonna be your kitchen. So that's the room. So for the top, so we're not gonna be getting building on it. You can, I'm just not, because I just don't want this tutorial to be like 20, 30 minutes, 33 minutes long on part, part one of the western house. And then make, and then hook it on kind of like that, to make it kind of look like it's being held on, not just floating up in the air. So that's our kitchen. And then we can go ahead and put a torch. And then we're going to be, I'll be carving out rooms I'll be carving out windows. So then what you're going to do, since this will not be, we're not going to be building over here, but I am actually going to make a chest area place over here. So, what am I going to do? So like, this is, like, on the world with, that I have a good tree house on, um, I have a chest area in my treehouse. So I'm actually trying to build somewhat what that treehouse looks like. So do the exact same thing Just over here. Now make sure that you can get in. And go ahead and get out a trap door. Sorry. And then place it on the top. And then uh, place it something like that. So then, as far as it should look something like that. It'll look, don't worry, it'll look better with, with the windows. And then, so it won't look like that. You can go ahead and take out all the slabs. It won't look too good. Just, just, just stuff. All about this stuff. <laughs> the slabs on it, because it kind of just looks like it's a little more balancing, which that's not what we want. And for next room, I'm going to be like, this will be like our crafting room, and then we're really just going to have wherever we craft, where we craft, where you need to craft at. So like, I'm going to be placing all my crafting materials in it. So, I'm going to do that. This can also be like another room if you want. You also need to maybe find a better place to craft stuff. Maybe like have a make a shed. Oops. That's what I would do. And speaking of shed, I actually was going to make one of my next tutorials. Maybe my next one. It's either going to be where you uh, bring in zombie villagers to cure them and turn them into villagers, or a shed. But, so leave in the comments below if you have if for which one you want me to build first.
First story, I kind of want to go to the villager house, but I just want you to have, have the idea. Like this, what we'll do is we're going to have a roof, these slabs, since we're not going to be building on this one either. So we're going to do the other side of that. I just like my other rooms. So maybe uh um so yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're going to just that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to have just make your almost like your hallway, your vertical hallway going up. So go ahead and cover Make those walls another block higher. And then, what are you going to do? You're going to go one more block higher. Okay. Later on, we're going to be um, covering it more with leaves to make it look a little bit more natural. So, Okay, so, mm, that was a that. Okay, oh, do I need your torch? Okay, so once you have that, we're going to go ahead and make our bedroom. So for the bedroom, we're going to need, of course, a bed. We're going to need a chest and some chests. Then bed, some chests, even more chests. Need a more chest, and then more chest. Yeah, basically just chest. <laughs> okay, so here's the bedroom. Plenty of space to walk, and I'm also just gonna decorate it a little bit. So, so what we're gonna do is we're going to place a map. I'll just go to the map. Then the bedroom is done. For a crafting room, as you can see, it is going to be crafting stuff. Oh yeah, also for the bedroom, got a jukebox behind the bed. Okay. For the crafting room, what you're going to need to do is get a crafting table, furnace, furnace stand, treatment table, and an anvil. All the things that you use to craft. I just place a wall of furnaces. And then mine the top row. Need that. It will be some more. And it will definitely, definitely need break sand. And then because anvils break and then they fall, kind of sand and gravel. Just go ahead and do that. And then place your, then you place your enchantment table. And then you can go ahead and place some chest so that you can reach your armor well not your armor stand. Oh yeah, speaking of armor stands, you can reach your cauldron. Not your cauldron, oh my gosh. You can reach your uh, anvil. Okay. So once you have that, you want to that because you can walk right through them. But okay, so for me I'm just going to go I'm just going to go ahead and place them up. Oh yeah, also, I, have, I think I've already told you, but you actually can enchant your elytra. Just can't. It's still hidden. Can't just, like, you can't just go ahead and put it in, into your enchantment table, but you have to use a, you have to enchant the book. Okay, now for the kitchen, we're going to be needing a chimney. So yeah, I need cobblestone. Almost the walls, and then oh, okay. oh yeah, also furnaces. 
So we're going to be placing our furnace right there. So I don't want to buy any of that. Oh, we don't want you to do so the blue roof. Go up. You're going to need stone slabs. Then if you're doing this in survival, you won't be able to do the webs, but the time is doing this in creative, I'm going to do the webs. So, I'm just going to break it, because it's not fully attached. Good. Okay, there's your smoke coming out of your chimney. Okay, now let's go do the rest of your kitchen. So, there, what you're going to need to do is get out some food stands, brew like potions, stuff. Even though you already have that down there, you can place some bookshelves for like cookbooks. And then you also place some, so like, you need to craft like bread or something like that. Have a crafting table. And then I'm going to put some stone, stone slabs all the way around the back. Okay. And then what you can do is is a chest. You're gonna need a place to store your food. So there you go. That's your kitchen. And then there's storage. See on the secret storage, sort of. You need to place all your valuables in and them out. And then now that we're out, we're going to be getting our plates. Oh yeah, also, get out your glass panes. So what you're going to need to do is place some windows. I'm just going to place a few, not a lot. Especially just for light. Some of them won't be able, really to look, be able to look at them that, that easily. I just need to change that. Okay, so then, I'm behind the room. Then, in the kitchen. Then also, I thought that was kind of cool. You do stuff to fly. Then, in the back side of the kitchen, we're going to go ahead and just press one. And then, you're going to leave your oak leaves. And then, start covering, you're covering your house a little bit more. A bowl. Or not a little bowl. It's since it's kind of empty and since it's not a since it's a tree, it's gonna be needing some leaves. Make sure it doesn't just like bulge out kind of like that. That won't look too good. Then put some around the kitchen. Okay. Well, it looks more like a tree now. Put some windows in it. Yeah, there's our tree house. And they're really fun to build, and sometimes they're a little easy. Depends on how much wood you have, what type of wood you're gonna use, and if the wood is easy to get or not easy to get. For example, like spruce. It's easy to get if you live by it or in it. But 
jungle in one of my worlds, I did not have a big jungle, so I couldn't build anything with a lot of things with jungle. And also there's no melon. I did not like that. <laughs> so, yes, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, have, let me know if you have any ideas, and tell me whether I should build a villager, doc, zombie villager doctor, or a shed. Thanks for watching, please, please subscribe, hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more.